Chapter 2. This is the story of blueprints turning into hoof prints. You can imagine the Fort Worth Zoo really was reflective of a large world-class city before Fort Worth knew what we were becoming. If Ramona hadn't pursued this mission, I'm not confident we'd have a zoo at all in Fort Worth, which is sort of hard to contemplate um, because of the magic that happens here every single day and the efforts they've um, really made possible by their conservation efforts and making sure the zoo is a top priority. Um, before all of that, the zoo started to create this public-private partnership around what a world-class city deserves, and the zoo was really the start to all that. I visited the Fort Worth Zoo in 1989 on business, and it was a little podunk municipal zoo. Uh, when I was asked to come back and consider an employment here, I kind of pushed back on them, and I was told, no, it's changing. I didn't know at the time that it was Ramona Bass making the change. The staff picked up on that passion. They started recognizing the impact we could have on conservation, and people are just proud to work here. When we reopened in 1992, we went from 400,000 to over 1 million visitors a year. We grow up learning about animals from all over the world, but many don't know the amazing wildlife we have right here in Texas. So we want to teach people about land management, game management, how ranchers can do a good job and have done a good job, the same with farmers, how important hunters and fishermen are to the whole ecosystem. It is absolutely essential that the guiding principles of the Texas Wild Message are taught to our children and our grandchildren. The most important way to get people involved is to inspire them and make them feel like they themselves can have a positive effect. To be responsible stewards of our own backyards first. The Fort Worth Zoo is consistently ranked among the top five zoos in the country. There's this much left, you're so brave, look. Now it is all gone. Any kind of project like this with the sustainable success and the plan for the future it continues on uh, has to have a champion. Somebody that gets up every morning and thinks about it and somebody that goes to bed, that, that, that cliche. Ramona is that champion here. The Wilder Vision Capital Campaign was the zoo's most ambitious master plan project yet. Naturally, in typical Ramona fashion, she set a $130 million goal and then surpassed it, and we're still going. The new 10-acre exhibit at the zoo is not just what Zoological Association co-chair Ramona Bass thought it would be. This one is better than we thought. It is the first of four new phases opening up at the zoo over the next seven years. And ask for the first reviews today. How the giraffes? The giraffes. People were wild about it. A lot of effort is going into creating exhibits that are user-friendly for the animals. We are amazed. The new rhinoceros exhibit is just out the of this hippo. world. We also spent a lot of time in looking at our guest interactions with these exhibits and as a zoo as a whole, and how we can maximize their experience as they walk through. Such as that first turn around the corner going into African savannah and see the giraffes out. We want to hear that wow from the family. The walk into Elephant Springs as you step into the river village and then see the elephants in that environment. The wow factor of you can see what's coming, but you can't quite see what's coming. And we really hope that we've achieved that with Predator in Phase 3. The large waterfall over the line exhibit as you kind of walk past World of Primates and see this expansive view of this uh, environment for the lines. You can't get away from having a great zoo without having great people. They're compassionate. They're proud of the job. So the animals are great, and you know, but to me, it's just the people. With the help of so many, a hardworking board, extraordinary staff and keepers, the most amazing and big-hearted donors, the city of Fort Worth, and all those who visit and enjoy our beloved zoo, we have opened 18 permanent habitats, welcomed over 30 million visitors, and raised $300 million and counting. Un gusto ver trabajado aquí en este lugar con ellos. Uh, cada día aprende uno más. Cada uno, cada día, este, eh, se, se esfuerza por mi parte. Se, me esfuerzo más por por hacer el, más por este lugar.
No matter what your family looks like, you need gathering places to make those family memories. And the zoo for our family and the Parker household, but families across the entire Metroplex, they come to the Fort Worth Zoo for those memories. And Fort Worth needs to maintain those opportunities as much as possible. And truly, you know, the Fort Worth Zoo is at the pinnacle of that. And I try to make sure the boys realize how special it is to have it in my hometown. So I would say you're looking at one of the best zoos, best kept secrets that you find anywhere. And you'll find it out here. When people leave, you know, I want them to think, gosh, we are the beneficiaries of this great effort of the Zoo Association and of Ramona and everybody that's involved in that. And they'll know, I'm glad somebody did something right 50, 100 years ago. And to me, that's a true legacy that I came, I lived this life, I left it a better place, a place that's sustainable, and that's what the Fort Worth Zoo is.